This is Steve Young for the Co Roundtable. So we have a lot of discussions recently in the United States about um, social media and the internet and its impact and, and more and more concern for its impact in, in setting people on edge, uh, contributing to polarization and disaffection in politics, low self-esteem among young women, particularly when they watch Instagram or, or TikTok, other kinds of things. And we're in a quandary as to what to do. There, is, there are some people who think, well, it's all the fault of the companies. The companies are providing this as a product or a service, and they should have responsibilities, moral, ethical responsibilities, uh, for the quality of their product and service, the, the, the impacts it has in the marketplace. And, and so if things go wrong, blame them. Or now we're beginning to think about legislation to, to encourage them under penalty of something or other to improve their product. China, interestingly enough, recently used a more draconian approach, which is a flat out order from the government to all teenagers that you may only do video gaming three days, three hours a week, one hour each on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and no more. And, and there's a dot, 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 I think, as we Americans say, that if you do more video gaming in those three hours, and we find out by tracking your network usage or something, there will be consequences. And it's interesting, so one approach is to go to the providers of, of social media kinds of things, video games in one case, or the other is to go to the consumers, go to the user, users, and say, you can't buy it. You may enjoy it, you may want it, but we're not going to let you. I wonder which approach, if either, will be successful in the long run at matching up the desires of individuals to express themselves and a good, happy community which has some notion of a common good.